Graphing a line giving its equation in standard form, we're asked to graph the line 3x minus 2y plus 8 equals 0. And although we could graph it in standard form, uh, graphing fractions on the grid can be a challenge sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this standard form into y equals mx plus b, which means I just need to get the y by itself. So getting the y by itself means moving the 3x and moving the 8 to the other side. So I'm going to start off with minus 3x on both sides. That'll move the 3x over. And then also minus 8 on both sides, which will move the 8 over. So now I'm left on the left with negative 2y. And on the right, I now have negative 3x minus 8. And I'm almost there. To solve this for y, I just need to divide everything by negative 2. So divide all of the terms by negative 2. On the left, those negative 2's cancel, giving me y equals. We have a fraction for the x, which is OK. The negatives cancel, 3 halves x. And then for the last term, the negatives also cancel and become positive. So that's plus 4. So now we have the same equation, except it is in y equals mx plus b form. And there's different ways of graphing that one as well. But what I'm going to do is make a table where I'm going to choose a couple of values for x and find out what the y's are. So just to keep it simple, I'm, I'm going to choose two values for x and plug them in and see what y comes out. Zero is always a good one. I do want to avoid fractions. So if I can choose multiples of the denominator, which is 2, if I choose multiples like 2, 4, 6, then that will cancel out and I won't have any uh, fractions. So I'm going to choose 2. Uh, and that way when I plug them in, I won't have to worry about any fractions. So plugging in the 0 gives me y equals 3 halves 0 plus 4, which simplifies to just 0 plus 4. Plugging in the 0 gave me a y value of 4. And then if I plug in the 2, plugging in the 2 gives me y equals 3 halves times 2 plus 4. The nice thing about that, since I chose 2, those denominators are going to cancel and I have just y equals 3 plus 4 or 7. So my y value is 7. Graphing these two points then, 0, 4, the x value is 0, the y value is 4, that puts it right there. And then graphing the second point, 2, 7, I go over to an x value of 2 and then up to a y value of 7. And from here, I can connect those two dots since it's a straight line, go through those two, and that gives me the graph of our line. So we took the standard form, solved it for y to get the y equals mx plus b form, and then in this case, I just graphed it by making a table. Remember, it's always easier when you have this fraction. To avoid the fractions, choose your x values so that they're multiples of the denominator. So 2, 4, 6, or negative 2, 4, 6, those would have been good choices.